Hi, I'm Dr. Olushola Ajide here. Um, yesterday I promised that I will be interviewing some of my colleagues that we could say that yesterday was very fabulous really yes, was so great and, and, and glorious. But unfortunately we couldn't do that yesterday. Good enough. Um, here I have a thing. Can we meet you? I'm Dr. Chisa Wendekwe. Okay. I finished at the school of here in Rotodon University. Yeah. And I'm also a lecturer at Canterbury Christ Church University in Kent. Yeah, yeah. That, that's great. So, Dr. Chisa was my colleague here in Abadimbuza School. And quickly, what I want to bring to you for, um, in this particular video is just to ask about your particular uh, peculiar challenges that you, you went through during the program and how you overcame those particular challenges. So can you tell us, was there any challenge during the PhD program and how did you overcome okay. The initial challenge I had uh, during my PhD was uh, with writing okay. and uh, luckily for me my supervisor realized that okay. it was an issue and he decided to send me for a dyslexia diagnosis. Okay. So I went on for that. Uh, initially it was scary thinking, well, what does that mean? Okay. Would I be able to do this? Yeah. And I got there, I went through a series of tests. There was an educational psychologist okay. and he diagnosed I was dyslexic. Okay. And what happened was that the school's team came for me. Okay. They, uh, Shona McDonald, who was at graduate school leader then, yeah. was very supportive. The study skills were very supposed to They gave me a tutor okay. who helped me understand what the weaknesses were and okay. what my strengths are okay. and how I could utilize my strengths and my weaknesses. Yeah. And they gave me support like proofreaders. Okay. And then my supervisor also was very supportive and he okay. said, write it no matter how long it takes. And he made sure he said, I always want to see content, not quantity. Okay. So because okay. of that, he didn't put me on a deadline with a number yeah. and say, she said, you mustn't give me 10,000 So it's more the quality of quality, what you are yes. So yeah. I became comfortable and he said, the more you talk, the, because they found that one of my strengths is in talking. Yeah. So they also recommended I take on teaching. Okay. Because then I, the more I talk, the more I can. The more you are able to articulate, articulate and, and then read. Wow. So wow. with that, I had the support from study skills. I had the support from um, the supervisory, my supervisors and the graduate school itself. Yeah. And during the viva, which was the end, yeah. at the end, they, I needed to have it proofread several times. Yeah. And they did that. They were very ready and they were very happy. Okay. Everybody did that. My supervisors were very good with proofreading wow. and wow. making sure everything was okay. Yeah. My dyslexic tutor was very good. Wow. So, so uh, now you could see that Dr. Oyedekwe's particular peculiar challenge was dyslexia. So even whatever it is that you think you have, you are able to do the PhD program and you are able to complete the PhD program only like she was able to do quickly. It was able to be discovered and the team. We have a very good team here at Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen and they were able to help and now Dr. Chiza, it was wonderful, yeah. you know, yesterday and, and now she's graduated the, and the support, like I did mention in one of my previous videos, the support you get during the PhD program is important that will help you edge towards completion. So, um, we want to thank you very much Dr. Chisa for coming on to the program and I, I do hope that this has been of help to you and I will see you again in the next video. Don't forget the home and the intention of this is to help you get on stock and finish your PAG program. So I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.